Three freshmen. It is our St. Francis Hospital, Hartford Hawk story. A new class of Hawks has joined the nest, and their futures look bright. They're terrific players. You know, they, they're guys who can shoot, dribble, and pass. And as ridiculous as it sounds for Division I basketball, that's a rare commodity. Um, so, you know, getting them into the fold, I think we'll only get better offensively, and then they'll have a, you know, a lot to learn and a long way to go defensively. Sullivan describes Caitlin Skinner as a terrific offensive player, Mallory Shakora as the team's future point guard, and Christy Michaels as a post player with a surprising touch from the outside. A shot her basketball playing sister Stephanie helped her work on by not letting Christy shoot on the lower basket when she was younger. I've always enjoyed shooting. It's something that I practice a lot. So when I'm now that I'm in college and I'm primarily a post, it's nice to be versatile and be able to step out on the three-point line to shoot because other post players that are defending me won't expect it. While each freshman is a little different, they share one big thing in common when it comes to why they chose Hartford. Coach Rosati. And once I started talking to my family about her, my uncle. He's into some media thing, and he actually got a highlight video of her that she doesn't know I have. <laughs> and I watched it, and I was like, oh, wow, she was actually pretty good. When I came here and like visited and watched some of the practices, I really fell in love with how she motivated uh, the players to um, perform their best, and I really wanted to be taught by her. What you have to do is uh, ignore all the yelling and just listen to what the words that she's saying, because she's really looking out for the best for you, and she knows uh, she's very knowledgeable of the game, so whenever she is trying to critique your style of play, it's definitely for the better. The adjustment to college life continues for Mallory, Caitlin, and Christy, but with plenty of help from the sophomores, juniors, and seniors. I kind of lean towards Alex a little bit because she's just very, very personable. Um, she and she like loves the freshmen and like is always joking around with us, and she's al always like around us and. I know in study hall and stuff we'll talk about classes and she's always asking like how we're doing and stuff and if we ever need help with anything like go to her so but they're all pretty helpful. Well they love the team and they hate the coaches which is life you know just how it should be. Um, we yell at them every day and their teammates pick them up every day um, but we, we tell them all the time when we stop yelling at you, it's time to start worrying because um, we do have high expectations for them and you know we think they're all going to be really good players here. Uh, so we're challenging them every day. This trio brings lots of talent to the table and lots of personality. Well, Christy is definitely, we, <laughs> me and Caitlin always make fun of her sometimes, the way she exaggerates her words sometimes. <laughs> she always says, hi. <laughs> She's just so spacey sometimes that it's the, her reactions to things, it's the funniest well, um, a lot of the times, if we like ask her a question, she'll just start looking up and start talking, and oh my gosh, let's have like the funniest reactions. Well, we're all a bit ditzy, and everyone on the team makes fun of us. They say we're in the clouds all the time. Is that true, Coach? Their <laughs> heads are in the clouds. Sometimes they seem like they are. They're <laughs> they're great kids. They're a lot of fun, uh, but sometimes it's like they have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Of course, that'll change, and it's changing daily as they mature as uh, players and people here in college. You have four other kids coming in next year. You've announced your new class, and uh, we know at least about one of them, mm -hmm. Alyssa Reeves, right down the street here in West Hartford at Northwest Catholic, but you've got a total of four coming in. Yeah, we're really excited about this class. We feel like they fit really well together, and they address some of the issues that we're going to be you know, needing to address with the loss of our really talented senior class. Uh, you know, starting with Alyssa, finding her in our own backyard was obviously such a plus for us. She's grown up watching our program and being a part of it, knows our players, will be a real good physical presence to help us replace players like Ruthann and Nakia. And we have two dynamic scoring guards, Deanna Meza out of Philadelphia area and Morgan Lum out of the Boston area. And both these guys can play the point guard, the off guard, they can really score the basket, they can pass, they can really do everything from the guard spot. And then what I think is the glue player of the class, Latrice Hall, is a kid from Buffalo. And we found that the kids from upstate New York are pretty tough. <laughs> and uh, she's going to kind of be the do-it-all player. She'll play whatever position we need. She'll rebound, defend, score, pass. So they really do fit well together, and I'm excited about their future.